Welcome back to the Tenorshare channel. If you're an iPad user, today's video is going to be super helpful. I'm going to show you how to put your iPad into recovery mode, whether it has a home button or not. Before we dive in, let's talk about what recovery mode actually is and why it's so important. Recovery mode is a built-in safety feature on your iPad that helps you troubleshoot and fix problems. Whether it's a failed software update, a frozen screen, or your iPad refusing to charge, recovery mode gives you a way to refresh the system and get your device working again. But here's something many people don't know. Recovery mode isn't just for fixing issues. It's also essential if you want to reinstall or even downgrade to an earlier version. So, whether you're dealing with a problem or just experimenting with system changes, this is a great tool to know. Now, let's move on to how to actually put your iPad into recovery mode. If you prefer using software, you can try Reiboot's one-click feature to enter recovery mode. It's super easy and saves a lot of time. But if you want to do it manually, here's the step-by-step -step guide. For iPads with a home button, the steps are straightforward. First, connect your iPad to a computer with a cable. Then press and hold the home button and the power button at the same time. Keep holding as the screen goes black and the Apple logo appears. Don't release until you see the restore screen. When that screen pops up, you're officially in recovery mode. For iPads without a home button, the steps are slightly different, but just as easy. Start by connecting your iPad to your computer with a cable. Quickly click the volume up button, then the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button. Keep holding till the restore screen appears. And that's it. You're in recovery mode. Now, if all these button combinations fail, there's a much simpler way to do this using Reiboot on your computer. It's available for both Windows and Mac, and it makes entering recovery mode as easy as clicking a button. What's even better is that exiting recovery mode is just as simple. With Reiboot, all it takes is one click. Just select Exit Recovery Mode, and your iPad will return to normal without any hassle. If you're in recovery mode and unsure what to do next, you have a couple of options. You can use System Repair on Reiboot to fix your iPad's problem without data loss. Or, if something has gone seriously wrong, you can use Deep Repair to restore your iPad to factory settings. I'd suggest trying System Repair first. After downloading the firmware, you can begin the repair process, and your iPad will return to normal without losing any data. So, there you have it. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, and don't forget to follow us for more iPhone and iPad tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.